Adaptations in Animals In this module, we will learn about the natural habitat of animals and their adaptations to their surroundings. Before moving forward, let us first learn about habitat. The natural home of an animal is called as its habitat. Some of the examples of types of habitat are Terrestrial Xeric Arboreal Amphibious Aquatic and Polar Now let us learn about terrestrial and xeric adaptations. Before going any further, let us learn adaptations of animals in context of their habitat. The physical and behavioral features of animals developed in order to survive in their natural habitat are called adaptations. Animals like lion, snake and elephant are terrestrial animals because they live on land. The snakes show adaptation to their environment through various ways. Their jaws are not closely fused so that they can hold the prey bigger than their own size. The scales on their body assist them in locomotion. Now let us take the example of camel to understand the habitat like Xeric. The animals that live in very dry areas belong to the Xeric habitat. In order to protect from sandstorm, camel has long eyelashes. So this is one type of adaptation that camels have for their habitat. Now let us learn about different habitats like aquatic and amphibious. Aquatic habitat consists of water living animals such as whale, duck, etc. Let us take the example of whale to understand about its adaptations to its habitat. For instance, whales have blowhole at top of their head which helps them in breathing. Also, whales have thick body that protects them from the heat of underneath water. Now there are some special types of animals called as amphibious animals like frogs and crocodiles that live both on land and in water. Let us understand how frog adapts to its habitat. It is very interesting to know that frog's long sticky tongue helps it to catch the prey easily. Similarly, its eyes are bulged out of the body in order to keep the eyes above the water level while in water. Let us now understand about arboreal and polar animals. Do you know which are the arboreal animals? Animals that spend most of the time on trees are called arboreal animals. Let us take the example of monkey. Let us understand the kind of adaptation monkey has for its habitat. While jumping, monkey's tail helps them in balancing their weight. Now let us understand about polar animals. Animals that live in very cold places where snow is covered throughout the year are called polar animals. Take the example of penguin and its adaptation to the polar environment. The skin color of the penguins absorbs maximum heat from the sunlight, thereby keeping them warm in harsh cold climate. The webbed feet of the penguins 
help them to swim. We have learned different kinds of habitat, adaptations of animals,